Hi, this is Ariane from La Fée de la Mer, handmade soap shop in the Magdalene Islands, Quebec, Canada. Today, uh, I'm going to show you um, in a quick video how I tidy up and wrap my soaps. This has been a request by a few of my subscribers, and since I'm doing that today, I thought I'd show you. Um, the batch that I'm going to be uh, tidying up today is called Le Savon du Marin, which means the Sailor Man's Soap. It's made with uh, salt water. Uh, it's scented with lemon essential oil and mei chang, and it's colored with uh, hydrated chrome green, ultramarine blue, and a little bit of uh, titanium dioxide. It smells really fresh. So, anyways, there's a batch that I have already tidied up, and there's another batch here that needs to be trimmed and tidied up. And I got some labels here that will be going on these soap bars. And those are all my labels for other soaps. I, I need to have more printed out, but uh, I actually I designed them on my computer. I use Photoshop. There are many other software available, but that's just the one I'm comfortable with using. And then I have those printed out in by a professional company that does printing for me. And then, yeah, basically that's it. Let me show you how I do this. So um, this is the tool I've been using for the past couple of years. It's a very simple tool. Uh, there is a small opening on this side and a bigger one on this side. <clears throat> I don't really know what it's called, but I bought it from Soap Equipment Place. Uh, I'll link below. Anyways, so this is what a rough bar looks like. And I just take this tool over a, a container so that I don't make a big mess and I just pull it down and this is what I do that's it this trims off the rough edges um, I don't trim all my soaps but these are made with 80 percent coconut oil and they are really hard and it gets kind of sharp <laughs> well not really sharp but you know, it's soap, it can't be that sharp, but still, it's not a comfortable feel when you take it and it hasn't been trimmed. So, this is what I do. Now, more recently, I've purchased a soap planer beveler tool from Cardalen Soap Work. And I'm going to show you in just a second how that works. So this is brand new. I haven't tried it that much yet. I've tried it for a couple of soaps, but there it is. So I'm going to remove the tape. There's a very sharp blade here, so you don't want to get your fingers near that. And perhaps, perhaps you would see better if I did it in this angle. So anyways, basically what you do is that you push the soap through, like lean it against the side, the angle's already all made up for you, and just push it through, and then it just oh, trims off the edges. Um, I would say that using this makes it easier if you have a hard time keeping a steady hand with a tool like this or um, if you're using a potato peeler and can't get your edges to be all the same this one will remove the exact same quantity every pass and it's a really really thin layer that's being taken off so you don't lose that much soap Now, I only do the four long sides of my soaps. I don't feel that there's a need to do the top and bottom because mostly the person's hand is going to be on this side and not like this. And it'll use up after one or two washes in the shower. It'll melt down, so. 
there. So this works really nice. Um, those are all handmade. It's a, com yeah, I told you it's from Cardalen Soapworks, and they are based in the U.S. Um, you can actually remove this part if you want to plane your soap. Let's say I wanted to remove uh, one of the sides. I could just pass it on to this planer, and ta-da! I got a nice, smooth side, but I, I don't need to do that because my soaps are already nice, but <laughs> they're already nice on every side, but if for some reason uh, you want to trim one side of the soap off, or if you want to do soap scrolls, because this kind of does, well, this won't make soap scroll with this soap because it's way too hard with the coconut, the high coconut amount, but uh, with, a, with a softer soap base you could surely do uh, soap scrolls and use them as embeds. Anyways, let me just finish this real quick and I will show you how I wrap my soaps. just throw those in here and um, I never throw away any soap that's why I keep it in a bowl because when it's I have enough I will uh, remelt this and make French melt soap out of it and then just use it for whoops excuse me use it for my family or give it to friends Oops, I forgot a bar whoops wrong side using the small side I try to, to take away as less soap as possible there we go. Um, I guess this soap is easier to clean. You just wash it in water and then you're done. Uh, this one needs to be dry cleaned. I use a toothbrush going down because if you go the other side, well, you'll just chop your... this thing. It'll get chopped on the razor blade. Let's put the tape back on the blade just to avoid, uh, what's that, any injuries. That's a pen that bled on my hand. Anyways, so yeah, avoid injuries. Now, uh, when I wholesale, I usually put a plastic shrink band around my soaps because, I don't know, wholesale customers usually like when everything is wrapped tight into plastic. And some people say that it helps to keep the essential oils or fragrance oil within the soap if it's sealed. Um, in my shop, personally, everything is just as is with a cigar band, and that's it, that's all. I feel that the soap need to breathe and keep on drying and getting milder. So, And anyways, even when I, I put a band like this, so what I'll do, I'll just put the band onto the soap like this, and then I will take a heat gun and heat it, and then it shrinks, and then it looks like this. And uh, you probably can't see, but this cigar, this uh, shrink bag, bag, this shrink band um, has a hole on either side, so the soap keeps breathing and it can keep on drying, even though it's mostly sealed. Anyways, this is what I do when I wholesale because I don't know. Don't ask me. I don't know why. I prefer to have my soaps just um, in bulk like this. So um, if you want to get some shrink bands like these, I bought those from Brambleberry. I'm in Canada, so I'm looking to find some in Canada. I still haven't found this particular size, which is the perfect match for my... Uh, those are about 4 ounces uh, a bar. That's about 140, 130 grams. So what I do then, uh, when I'm done tidying up the soap, I have these cigar bands that I custom made myself and 
Uh, I have my ingredient list in the bottom. Those are my old labels, so I won't be labeling a whole bunch today. I'm just going to show you because uh, I modified some of the ingredients and I added my logo and my address, which wasn't on the label um, before. And it was I only had my website address on the uh, label. It's a pretty small label, so it's pretty hard to get things fitted in there. But anyways, so what I do is I put the end of the label that has the ingredients on it on my soap and then I wrap it all around and then I fold the end lift the first part that I place it place it, place it back on top <laughs> and then I just stick it there with either hot glue or uh, magic tape uh, magic tape you can hardly see it once it's done so that's that's what my soap looks like once it's whoops once it's wrapped. Uh, okay, so I got the name of the soap and a short description and um, here's a picture of my dad's boat and my dad and my boyfriend are actually in it but in, in the boat but you can't really tell it's them. I know it's just fun. Um, I like to take pictures to make my labels. It makes the soap more personal personal and people like it when there's there's actually pictures from your place on your labels that's and and since this is a line of soap that are mostly plain this one has color in it but this is really unusual for this line of soap I used oxides which are considered natural colorants but most of my soaps are really plain so I opt for a colorful label this one is blue it's got blue sky the sea and the boats anyways um, yeah that's my label <laughs> that's how I label and uh, I would do the same with the one that has been shrink wrapped so I would simply put the label just like this wrap all around fold the last part stick it back on top take some tape and stick it on there Ta -da! Uh, now of course I'm gonna, not going to label all these soaps today because this soap has been made five days ago and it still needs to dry and it will lose some water and it will shrink some more so if I would uh, label all of these today well in a month or a month and a half <laughs> when comes time for my shop to open then the label would be loose because the soap will be smaller so usually I wait around a month to two months before I actually put the cigar bands on my soaps yep you gotta be patient <laughs>